Hello guys, welcome back to Sholiver Celebrity News and Updates where we bring you the right update and all of what you will like to know. If you are new here or if at all you are just passing by for the first time, please take some minutes of your time to subscribe, like, comment and hit the notification button so that you will not miss in any of my uploads. Daniel Collins has always wondered what it would be like to be a rock star, stepping on the big stage and keep everyone hanging on your every move. And with your desire to improve the performance of lives on Saturday at the Miami Open, the 30-year-old American player knows about. I see these videos, like at a Taylor Swift concert or other artists and musicians, and it's just incredible, the fandom, Collins said on the WTA Insider podcast. I said a few weeks ago, I don't think athletes ever really get to experience that often, something that's so extreme. But today I did, and it was so cool. I will never forget how supportive and encouraging everyone was. Quote on Saturday, Collins won the biggest title since she started her career. She won the Miami Open after defeating number four Elena Rybakina by 7 5 6 3 to capture her first WTA 1000 title. The victory is even more special to her because it was in her home state of Florida, and it is her last season on the Hologic WTA tour. Danielle Collins joined the WTA Insider podcast after the victory to discuss her historic title run at number 53. She is the lowest-ranked Miami champion in event history, and why this win is about more than just her. I go to my towel box, and someone that I've never met or seen before is looking at me like, you can do this. You are awesome and the best, you can do this. Keep going for it. It just gives me so much faith in humanity too, that people want to support other people and want to be encouraging. I've never played in an environment that was this special. I felt like I was literally playing in front of thousands of my best friends, and I knew that everybody there wanted me to do well and have a good day today. I've created such close bonds with so many of these women on tour, and to come off the court and literally have every American in the top 100 reach out to me and send me a lengthy message and offer like support, it brought tears to my eyes. I'm just so proud of the group of women that we have, especially in American tennis and the camaraderie that we share because it's rare. I hear older players talking about how it wasn't like that for them when they played. I've also felt the same excitement when I see Jess pick up a trophy and when Coco won US Open. To have all of these girls be so supportive when I've won, not just today, but during tough times, after surgery for endometriosis, after tough things happening in life. That one of the things I'm most proud of in my career is the friendships that I've been able to make in this sport, because it's not easy. I think the biggest thing that it's taught me is humility. That's contributed so much to my perspective and outlook on my career and this journey. Being a professional tennis player, I came from nothing. My parents did everything for me as a kid to give me an opportunity to earn a college scholarship, go to school, and experience being at one of the best universities in the country. Then also being on a team and getting to have that experience and reaching achievements that we had never done in our program. That was something that was so rewarding and, I think, really encouraged and sparked that fire in me to continue pushing to push down barriers. The trophy is what she deserves. The Miami Open champion has put on a pyrotechnic display at Hard Rock Stadium and won her first WTA 1000 title. She joined the podcast to celebrate the family, friends and locker room community that has been with her every step of the way. Thank you for watching to the end. If you have something else to tell us about this video leave your comment on the comment section below. Your comments matters a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video and share. See you next.